Hello and welcome back to the Unite Pieces channel. Today, we will recap an action thriller movie from 2021, titled SAS Red Notice. The movie is about a SWATA mercenary force, which contains trained criminals and is led by a woman named Grace Lewis, as on a secret mission from the government to massacre a village, but the government turns out to trap them, and seeks to exterminate the mercenary grub. So, how does it go? Okay let's get into the story. The movie opens by showing a group of mercenaries on a secret mission, where they are tasked with wiping out the lives of a village, which refuses to sell its land to the state. The team is prepared and they are asked to persuade the villagers to sell their land, but when they get there the villagers apparently try to fight them, which leads to a great battle. The leader of this operation is named Grace Lewis, she then orders her entire team to kill adult men and boys, and leave the women alive. Then the scene switches and shows a man named Tom Buckingham, he is a member of the special forces as well as one of the heirs to the British Empire. He returns to his castle, and reveals to the guard that he intends to propose to his girlfriend, whose name is Sophie by giving her a ring left by his grandfather. At that time the guard of Tom's house is very happy with the decision and will support him. The scene switches to show news about three fugitives from the state, they are named William Lewis, Grace Lewis, and Oliver Lewis. The three of them are suspected of having committed the crime of genocide in a village, and the three of them are also thought to have an illegal business, called the Black Swan. From the news, the British Prime Minister then spoke with military commander George Clements, where George urged the Prime Minister to issue an order for the arrest of the three Black Swan leaders, so that their illegal business could not develop further. But the Prime Minister explained that he did not want the three leaders to be arrested. But the Prime Minister explained that he didn't want violence, and he only wanted to deport the three of them from the UK. Grace was informed that the police would soon surround their house, she also talked to her father about it but William replied that he didn't need to run away to face this problem. Outside their residence, Tom, who had received an assignment from George to spy on the Lewis family, pretended to greet a maid who was sweeping the yard. While making small talk by asking about her pregnancy, the woman realized that Tom wasn't just asking, so she tried to pull out a gun that she was keeping. However, Tom managed to prevent her and made her unconscious. After that Tom immediately reported to the team, if he managed to get into the house, and would wait for the troops to arrive while waiting for further orders. But it turned out that the Black Swan had learned of their movements, so there was a shootout between the Black Swan and the Special Forces. Immediately, the troops were quickly deployed into the yard of the house, then broke down the entrance. At that time the Black Swan was completely helpless, because they were surrounded by many police. When Tom and his troops managed to get inside, they found William Lewis sitting relaxed. Shortly thereafter George arrived, then asked all his members to go out to look for Grace's whereabouts. In the conversation, they reminisced about the time when they were both still colleagues. After that George suddenly stood up, and shot William to death. After William was killed, the team reported that Grace had managed to escape from there, then Commander Major Bissett emphasized that their mission was not finished, because they had to catch Grace in order to destroy the Black Swan. After the incident the scene switches to Tom, who is seen to have booked a ticket to Paris and will invite his girlfriend, Sophie. They are going on vacation, and there Tom intends to marry her. Sophie is surprised to hear this, and quickly accepts Tom's invitation. The next day they go to the train station and immediately enter the carriage to prepare to head to Paris, there is seen a suspicious woman using a wheelchair entering the same carriage as Tom, and passing him. The short journey takes place, the two of them talk about what they will do there. Meanwhile, the woman in the wheelchair revealed her true form, which turned out to be Grace. While in the restroom, an officer suddenly knocked on the door, urging her to come out. When Grace opened the door, she immediately grabbed the officer and killed him. Although no sound was heard, Tom caught a glimpse of Grace's silhouette coming out of the restroom. Tom then called his colleague, Declan Smith, to inform him that Grace was most likely on the same train as him. Smith then immediately conveyed this to their commander, but the commander did not believe it, and when Smith left, the commander suddenly sent a message to someone. On the other hand, Grace quickly hijacked the train, took it into the tunnel, blocked the access, and cut off communications. 
She then met her team waiting in the tunnel, and they were about to start taking the train's passengers hostage. While the team was preparing their weapons, apparently Tom found out about it and he immediately killed one of Grace's men. The team immediately opened fire on Tom, but Tom got away. Seeing the movement of a stranger, Grace then ordered her team to immediately take all passengers hostage, they quickly got inside and asked all passengers to immediately obey their orders. Meanwhile Tom immediately called Smith, and confirmed that this hijacking was carried out by the Black Swan led by Grace. Getting clear news from Tom, Smith immediately confirmed to his superiors who quickly prepared his best troops, to go to the location. Grace on the other hand, was still thinking about who was trying to ruin their plan, then she remembered Tom's face. Immediately, she ordered her men to find Tom. Grace then ordered her men to collect all cell phones belonging to passengers. News began to appear regarding the train hijacking. The Prime Minister responded quickly. He immediately ordered George to send reinforcements to the location. In short, the reinforcements arrived. The troops entered the train aisle and tried to find an opening to get into the carriage. In the meantime, Grace was getting worse when she shot a passenger who didn't want to give her cell phone. But because of the shot, she accidentally injured a little girl, so Grace called Sophie to treat the little girl. When Sophie took the little girl into the toilet, Tom suddenly appeared from below and told Sophie to open the train closet, so she could get them both out of there. Tom manages to get the child out, but he suddenly hits Sophie, knocking her unconscious. Oliver and a henchman immediately entered and noticed Tom, they shot him. At the same time there was an attack by the rescue squad outside the train. Fortunately Tom managed to escape with the little girl, and the rescue squad also decided to retreat after facing fierce resistance. On the other hand, Tom and the daughter were hiding on the roof. Because of this incident, finally made Grace communicate with Major Bissett, she proposed negotiations and wanted ransom money as a solution. The Major said he would coordinate Grace's request, but on the condition that he wanted 100 hostages released simultaneously. The scene returns to Tom, in order to calm the child he tells her the reason for his vacation to Paris. After calming down enough, Tom then went down to see the situation. Fortunately, he managed to knock out one guard and immediately told the daughter to get out of there immediately. Finally the dog there was rescued by the special forces on guard. The scene moves to Major Bissett and George, they meet with Grace to make an exchange. When the deal is about to happen, Grace suddenly shoots Major Bissett to death. Then George tries to fight back, but he fails. Fortunately Grace does not kill him, instead, she tells George to immediately send a ransom, then she will release him. The scene returned to Tom. He managed to find a member of the Black Swan who was storing an explosive in the gas pipe. Tom then immediately told the man to put down the device he was holding, but he resisted which caused Tom to have to kill him. After successfully stopping the installation of the bomb, Tom then returned to call Smith to tell him that he managed to find the bomb device. When the phone was switched off, Smith suddenly called Grace. It turned out that they had worked together before. Smith promised to help Grace escape, but Grace broke their agreement. Grace admitted that she would not blow up the tunnel if Smith would kill Tom. After that Grace framed Tom, she pointed a gun at Shopai while sending a message to Tom, for them to meet in a train passage. Luckily, Tom knew that this was a trap, and he answered with a little lie. On the way, Tom managed to meet with Oliver, and he immediately took Oliver hostage in return, bringing him to Grace who was holding Sophie hostage. Grace, deliberately shot Oliver, until finally there was a shootout between them. Tom, who was in trouble, tried to take cover, and with his wits somehow, Tom was forced to blow up a gas cylinder that set one train car on fire. After the incident, Grace immediately contacted the special forces, she then showed Tom's actions. Grace asked for the money they wanted to transfer, and after checking her account, the money was immediately transferred to Grace. Grace quickly told Shopai to move, while the hostages were told to wear hoodie jackets. Shopai was then taken by Grace to a gas pipe, and their Oliver told Grace to take Sophie, while he would handle Tom. A fierce fight ensued between Oliver and Tom. But it didn't take long for Tom to kill him. The hostages finally managed to get out of the carriage, the troops were also seen detecting everything that came out of the carriage, on guard for possible Black Swan members in disguise. And sure enough, they managed to identify four people who were members of the Black Swan. Smith immediately ordered the team to shoot the four people while Tom tried to catch up with Grace. After that Grace decided to activate the bomb she had installed in the train aisle, 
As a result the aisle was destroyed instantly and there was a huge explosion. Tom then tried to catch Grace, but Grace suddenly appeared from above and immediately beat Tom. Although Tom was injured, he was still able to provide resistance to Grace. During their conversation, Tom suddenly pulled out his knife and managed to stab Grace in the neck, until Grace slowly bled to death. And that's how the movie ends. What do you think of this movie? Please write your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, and support our channel by subscribing, so that we stay motivated to create more interesting content for you to enjoy. And until next time.